Get ready to tone your body just like a Victoria's Secret model with Pevolve creator Steven Pastorino. Thanks, Anna. Today we're gonna do the exact workout I did with the girls in Shanghai the night before the show. So let's get started. Let's get started with the warm up. These are all meant to open up your hips. This is very crucial. It's gonna set you up for success for the rest of the workout. So the first one that I do is the step back and reach. So we always start in this position, I call it the P-sit, arm locked out. You're stepping straight back. The most important thing is heel up, knee locks out. Once you feel your butt engage, take it all the way up, big stretch. Ooh. Bring it down and step in. Let's do five, three, two, one. So step, open up. And this is all for the extension of the right hip. Step it back. Feel that. Good. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna fire up your glutes. It's gonna open up the hip. You're getting the extension through the spine, getting the stomach through the long gait. We got two more. Good, knee back, heel up. And you're just lengthening your entire body with this. Last one. Good, all right, now we're gonna stay on this side. So this is the side step and reach. This is to open up the left hip, get the inner thigh to stretch. You're always driving through your butt. Arms straight, make sure the knees are back. I want you to take a big step to your right, and then reach, come down. Open up that left thigh, bring it back and step in. That's one. Here we wow. go. Five more. Step out. Butt goes back. Five. Good. Remember, always keep that right knee back. That's crucial. That's what's going to keep the resistance in your butt and not your thighs. I feel that. Good. Ooh, weight's Ooh. on the heel, right? Perfect. Yeah, the weight's back in the heel. Right here. Three. Another big thing, don't bend through your back. Keep your chest up nice and high. Head up. Keep that good posture. Stomach engaged. Last one. Step it out. Breathe, good job. Woo, thanks. All right, we're gonna do basically the same thing, but we're gonna intensify it. So we're gonna add a little rotation. We're gonna go, we're gonna do a diagonal step and reach. So it's gonna look like this, I'll show you a demo. Big step open on a 45 degree angle. Leg straightens, reach, knee back, come up, and then bring it here. All right, we'll do five together. Three, two, one. Step, reach, and bring it back. So now we're adducting the hip and we're also rotating it. Good. Three wow, more. That's hard. Good, and remember, drive that back knee back so the butt's fully engaged. It looks so easy, but it's so difficult yes. to really yep. engage everything. And back, good. Those are the first three warm ups. <laughs> All right, so we gotta do the other side. So step back and reach. We'll do six together. Three, two, and one. Hit the step, heel up, and then open it up. Good, six, step. I love how you said to squeeze that butt cheek. And as that gave me so much of a bigger stretch. Good, and as this arm is going up, this left butt's gotta work to stabilize. So you're yeah. squeezing oh, yeah, and I you're lifting, that. okay? Oh. That's where all your balance and strength is coming from. Two more, step. Lengthen through the stomach. Good, last one. Step. Open it up. And rest. Whew. After that one, you should feel a little bit taller. We're just, <laughs> yes, we're just taller. pulling the whole body apart. Now we're gonna open up the hip on this side. So arms out, side step and reach. Three, two, one. Step it out. Open up that hip. And bring it back. This butt takes you in, takes you out. Get the stretch. Good. Four more. Always keep the arms straight. You're framing out the knee, keeping the knees back, pushing the butt back. Big stretch in that thigh. Two more. I almost felt like I was gonna fall backwards. You know, you really oh, try to keep perfect. your weight back. <laughs> That's it, you're staying on the heels, last one. And it's that threshold of almost falling backwards uh -huh. where your glutes are working the most to stabilize, to hold you up. Let's hit the diagonal. Three, two, one. Step it open, knee back, reach. This is a big stretch, so take your time, go through it slow. Step it open. There we go. We got four more. And when you're going down slow, that's like really engaging it even more too. So it's trying to go at our pace. Exactly. Yeah. And I After. always, you know, I always go slow because I want you to feel what's happening. You're letting this butt take you down, change yep. direction, ah. take you back up. Do you want to feel it in the inner thigh? Big time. Okay. Big time. <laughs> so we're activating the butt, stretching the thighs, opening the hips. There's a lot going on. So we're going to start with the cross leg dip. 
and this is one of my favorites. So we're gonna start, it's important to remember, always keep the knee back. We always want that perfect posture. So you're opening up through the rib cage, chest up. We're gonna start with one leg out, always pushing back into this heel. You're gonna start by lifting this knee right to your elbow. Whoa. You're gonna do a little cross right there. You should feel it right through the thigh, mm -hmm. that opposite side butt, a lot of balance required, and then come out. All right, three, we're gonna do eight. Three, two, one, here we go. Little drop, and go slow. There's a lot happening here. Yeah. You're working the left butt, you're working the right thigh, a lot of lower stomach, and then get that big reach. A lot of control here. Good, let the tension hold, take it out. Five more. To make it easier, do you not step out this far? Yeah, so if you wanna make it a little bit easier, your glutes aren't where they're at yet where in terms of strength mm. just shorten up the motion keep it small yeah. everyone has different ranges of motion and you can always shorten it or make it bigger depending Ooh. on your level of fitness oh my gosh a lot of balance this is burning One on more. my left leg this stability leg little drop all right now we're going to hold this position with the legs remember always keeping the knee back take this arm so it's always we're stretching we're stretching from the left wrist all the way down to the opposite side angle, pulling the body, stretching. Knee back, this is all still for this opposite side butt. So okay. this is the diagonal ab squeeze. So we're gonna open up, come down. You should feel it right here in the butt. And then focus on the stretch. So when this foot hits, I'll actually open up. You're gonna feel it down here in the inner thigh and the hip. Three, two, one, let's go. And then stretch. It's always important to always be stretching. That's how we're gonna get long lean muscles. This is what lengthens the muscles and gives you that effect. Six more. This is hard. Yeah. Pull. Move Ooh. slow. Don't rush through these. <laughs> so when you fall, it's because you lost control. Good. Four. Last three. Squeeze here. Stretch it out. Two. Hold it. Last one. Rest. All right. Now we're going to do the step back and squeeze. So for this one, we're gonna go sideways this way. So we're gonna start in this P stance as I call it. Sit back and we're gonna take right leg. You're gonna do a big step back. You're gonna catch on the ball of your foot, heel all the way up. Just come back and squeeze. You should feel the hip stretch, the butt engage, and then bring it back to here. So we're always staying engaged through our glutes. And this is my version of a lunge. So I don't do lunges, but I do a, do, I do a lot of stepping back. Here we go, three, two, one. Step, right there, eight, step it back. Hold that for a second, you have to consciously yeah. squeeze yeah. and then bring it back, move slow. Stretch the leg, six, step it back, good. Remember, heel up is the most important part. Right here, four. This heel up position is crucial, that's when your butt's working the most. I love that opposite stretch you get on the hip flexor too. Always stretching the hips. Right here, this is number two. Come back, the last one, lift it out. Squeeze, oh. come back, and rest. Good job. Oh, good. The body's like opening up, this but also good. strengthening up, so it's a great combination. Yeah, you know, it's killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. We're getting the joints moving, we're creating mobility, we're lengthening the muscles, but we're also, you know, keeping that yeah. engagement and firing everything up. Toning up the glutes. All right, guys, we have the other side. Remember, go slow, so this is the cross leg dip. So we're gonna go opposite side leg back. You know, keep your chest up, knee back, elbows up. Here we go, three, two, one. Pull across, little drop, come out. Here's a little tip. As your left leg crosses, collapse the arch of that standing foot right there. You'll feel your inner thighs more, Ooh, you'll yeah. get more balance. That's what turns on the inner thigh, the inversion of the foot. Here we go. That's a huge tip. I feel the difference when you let the foot and drop. And you'll see, the foot will drop, the knee will come in a little bit. That turns on a whole new set of muscles. Four more. Drop a little bit, keep the resistance. Three more. A little drop, you should feel it right in the inner thigh. Good. Last two. A little drop. Move slow, you wanna feel every part of this motion. Last one. And rest, good. So diagonal ab squeeze. So remember, it's all about the stretch. Taking that left ankle out, 
taking this right arm up, always keeping this butt back. This butt drives the motion. Three, two, one, here we go. Squeeze, hold, and then hit that stretch right here. Good. Pull down, hold, reach it out, rotate, good. I love this stretch. Oh, wow, Ooh. this is so hard. Good, and then right here, we hit that little rotation. Five more. Take it out. Remember, knee back, five. Good, open it up, last three. Stomach in tight, good. Keep that elbow straight, open it up. Pull, hold, move slow. We got one more. Hold, and rest, good. You can tell when your body is in balance because these moves are so slow and controlled that yeah, and, you know, yeah. you can use a chair, right, for some of these. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I even do that sometimes. Yeah. I, you see me falling over, I'll hold on to like a wall or a chair yeah. just to help me focus on the muscles. It's all about, you know, creating that awareness, understanding how your body's working through all these different motions. Awesome. All right, we got one more on this block. So we're going to do the step back and squeeze. And these are my favorite. I do a lot of variations of these to just work the butt, stretch the thighs. So we're starting here. We're going left leg back. Remember, chest up. Here we go. Three, two, one. So step back, heel up. Just engage that left butt. Should feel the stretch in the front. And then bring it back. And I always hit this little sit. Stick my butt out. And then, good. Squeeze. And then come back. We got six more. And before the Victoria's Secret show, we're hitting a ton of these. Oh leading up to it. Five more. Take it back. See how my knee is back over my foot. Good. Four more. Back. Big long stretch. I'm lengthening that thigh, engaging the butt. We got three more. Arms up. Heel all the way up. Remember, you want to get the ball of the foot to the floor. Here we go. Squeeze. We got one more. And you're letting all the weight shift back all into the glutes. Hold, squeeze, and bring it back. Good job. Awesome. And I got a whole new block for you. So, most of us don't have internal rotation of the hips. So that's turning the feet in this way. And that's why sometimes you see people walking out like this with their feet turned out. And that's a result from sitting all day or sitting in a car. You know, we get stuck in this position. So, a lot of my workouts are geared to reverse that. So I do internal rotation. It's also amazing because it really tones your inner thighs and it really like works the outside of your butt here. So it's unbelievable for the body. So, internal rotation, let me take you through it. So we're gonna take the, this is our right foot. We're gonna go from three o'clock to one o'clock, always keeping the feet at shoulder width. So you just turn in and you should feel this thigh tighten up this hip tighten up, let's hit a little sit, push up, and then take it back. Here we go, three, two, one. Little sit, you should feel it tighten through here, and then bring it back, eight. Remember, knees back, good. And this is so good for tightening the outer thighs, yeah. working, the, firing up the inner thighs. And here's a little tip as well, if you wanna get more inner thigh, when you get to this position right here, put the weight to the inside of your feet. Oh yeah, I feel that. You feel that. You just turned on a whole new set of muscles. Just from that little tiny motion. Three more. Whew. Squeeze. Three. Last two. Remember, kind of squeezing down, keeping your butt engaged. One more. A little squeeze and rest. Good job. All right, now we're gonna kind of turn up a little bit. We're gonna hold the position of intro and rotation so my hips are turned in. This foot is straight, this one's on an angle. I'm gonna go on the ball of my foot and this really lengthens the inner outer thigh, works the outside of this left butt. This is great for chiseling out the thighs. Here we go. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna do a little reach out. It's very small, but it's very hard. And then pull it in. Holding this position is key. Three, two, and one. A little reach, pull it back. Little reach. Oh my Good. goodness. This you should, leg. You should, that left yeah. leg should be on fire. Here we go. Reach it out. Four more. Four. Pull it in. Slow. Reach it out. Three. Two. Oh my gosh. All right, this one's the Shaking. hardest one. I'm gonna have you hold it right here. And small. Little leg lift. Let it down. Eight. Oh my gosh. 
Seven. Six. And you guys should be shaking. Even if you can't really lift your leg, it's killing. It's really working. Everything. Three more. Three. Two. Stomach tight. Oh. And rest. Oh All right, good job. Good stuff. We're gonna awesome. hit the other side. All right, so now we're really gonna feel it back here. Nice and easy. Little step in. Once the foot hits, drop back. And then bring it out. Eight. And remember what I told you from before. When you get to this position, keep the weight to the inside of your feet and you'll feel more of the inner thigh, the outer butt engage. We got four more. Step. Good. Pull your stomach in tight. Only drop like two inches. Really small. Good. Last two. And you're going even light on the way back. You're landing, just keeping still. That's all it. this weight on the That's hips. it. Remember, we're never, we're, we're limiting all momentum. Hold it here. Lift that front foot. Hold the, in, the internal rotation. We're gonna do a little step and reach. Three, two, one. So it's a little tap. One, lengthens the thigh. Pull it back. Little reach. Good, and you'll see me kind of work my arms up a little bit. Yeah down a little bit. This kind of makes me feel it through my chest and my abs. Just a little extra bonus. A little stretch. Three. Remember at home, keep the knee back. Two. Last one. All right, you're gonna kill me, but here we go. Little leg lift. Three, two, and one. Eight. Don't break that position. I know it's hard. Don't worry about how high your leg goes. Just all about control. Keeping those muscles tight. So hard. Three Just more. Slow. Three. Knee back. Two. Okay. Squeeze. Hold. Come down extra slow and rest. Oh. There we go. Awesome. Good. That's a lot right there. So let's go through a little stretch. Let's just go legs wide and come down to the floor oh, for a second. I know I'm going to love this right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right, good. And when you come out of this, put your hands on your thighs like this, bend your knees and push off. That way you never go into your lower back. All right guys, we're ready for the next block. So All right. this is a really another awesome exercise. Always hit these. We're gonna go into a wide stance. This is an open up and sit. So, or step open and sit. So we will always want a wide stance. We're gonna take our right leg open. This is very wide and we wanna keep the feet perpendicular. Catch nice and soft. You're driving through this front butt. Come down, sit like two, three inches max. Change direction, push up and then lift from that front butt to pull it back in, okay? Oh. So it's a really essential it. stepping okay, pattern. So in. Always keep the knees back, chest up. Here we go. Three, two, and one. So open it up, catch, sit a little bit, always keeping the knees back and pull it in. Knees staying back is key. Open it up and just kind of reach your butt out. Bring it back, seven. This is a great exercise for this front inner thigh, the outside of the butt inside of the butt right there five sit and bring it back four more and you see how we're taking our time we're not rushing through this we're trying yeah. to feel every part of the motion and catch sit pause push up pull it in last two step stomach in real tight protect your lower back pull it in one more hold it right there all right let's hold this position so we're gonna do a turn down. So it's a turn down and step. So we're gonna go from this position, we're externally rotated in the hips, and we're gonna lift off this left butt, and we're gonna turn down to this position. So it's a big motion, so everything turns in. The heel is all the way up. This works the outside of the butt. Hold, squeeze, and then open it back up, and sit. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, and one. So turn it in. Remember, hold, squeeze, open it up, catch. Right there, eight. Turn it down, hold and squeeze. And then, remember, knees back. Turn it down, good. So, internal rotation of the hip, back to external rotation. Sit, pull it down, and open it up. Here we go, last four. Make sure you keep that back foot nice and wide. Squeeze, open it up, three. Turn it down. Good, we got two more. 
and this is great. This is stretching the outside of this thigh, working the outside of this butt. So there's a lot going on. Hold it here. So this is one of my favorites. You're gonna hold this position. So we're rotated in, the heel is all the way up. Lean over this front hip. You're gonna do one little step back. You're gonna come back and squeeze. You're gonna feel it right here on the outside and the outside here, and then little pull in. Okay, we got eight reps. Oh Three. my goodness, <laughs> my glutes are already dead. Three, two, one, here we go. Little step, and then pull. And you're always keeping the heel up, engaging that back butt. Little step, squeeze. Good. Supposed to feel it on both sides here. Both butt? sides, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Four. Good. Keep the weight to the inside of this front foot. Three. Always keeping your butt engaged. Two. Keep the arms up. Last one. Squeeze and rest. Oh. Good job. I know you guys are be feeling a lot of the outside yeah. here. So we're working down from the hip all the way down mm -hmm. the back of the thigh, the outside of the thigh, and we're just pumping our glutes up, getting them nice and round. All right. You guys ready to do the other side? All right, yeah. All right, big wide stance. Here we go, we're gonna step open and sit. Three, two, and one. Open it up, catch, let the thighs stretch, sit, and pull it in. One, open it up, butt goes back, stomach pulls in. Seven, open it up. Drive through the heels. Six, and the most important thing when you guys are doing this, Keep that knee back, whatever you do. Right. That's what makes this exercise work. Four more. Drive through the heel. Like you said, you're almost falling backwards. It's like that. That's it, It's the threshold. It's like almost but, there. Really yeah. fires up the glutes. And it's in that threshold the muscles are working the most. Last two. Push up. Bring it in. Keep it wide. Here we go. Last one. Hit a little sit. All right. Now we're going to do that turn down and step. So we're going to. Eight reps, three, two, and one. Turn it down, hit that outside of the left butt, and then come out, sit. That stretches the inner thigh, and then this stretches the outer thigh. Turn it out, six more. So we're stretching here, open up, now we're here. Five more, heel up, perfect, good. Turn it down, four, good, sit. Here we go, three, Turn it open. Two more. Good. Sit the last one. Hold it here. We're gonna go straight to that step back. Three, two, and one. So a little one back, squeeze, pull it up. A little step back, seven. Good, make sure you guys at home keeping your heel all the way up, it's crucial. There we go, four. Back, three, getting that long stretch through the front of the quad. Two, knee always locked, squeeze Ooh. and hold, and rest, good job. Ah. All right, we're gonna go down to the mat and finish this up with a mat series. Awesome, all right. All right, so I love to do mat exercises, love to do butt, a lot of butt lifts, but first, it's always important to open up your hips first. If your hips are all the way open, your butt's gonna work so much more. So we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna start in this uh, position. Legs wide, and it's almost like a squat, a little sit, but we're doing it from our knees. So arms up, you'll drive your butt back a little bit, two inches. Once you feel this tighten up, I want you to push up nice and high, and then take a forward lunge right here. Land the foot, and then open up. You're squeezing that back butt as you go forward. Pull it in, come back, and sit. Let's do five reps. Three, two, and one. Push up, and get that big, long stretch. Squeeze, and down, and your butt is driving all this motion. Big stretch to the stomach, opening up the back hip. Take your time right here. Three, sit back. Drive up, big stretch, open up the spine. Take your time with these and don't overdo it. We got two more right here. Two. Big stretch up, squeeze, and come back. All right, we just opened up the right hip, so let's do a butt lift with the right leg. So we're gonna go down, opposite side arm. We're gonna take that right leg up, the knees at 90 degrees. Toe to the ceiling, these are small, so we're never pulsing. 
We're gonna do a little squeeze up, hold for like a split second, and then let it down. Two to three inches. Three, two, and one. Small. Hold, and then release. Little hold, down slow. That thing should be shaking on the way down. Oh yeah. Yep. And I'm trembling. Hold, let it down slow. Here we go, we got four more. Keep your stomach in tight. Make sure you have no movement through your pelvis. Everything's nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Only thing moving is the, the right leg. Two more. Hold, two. Little hold, squeeze, and rest, good. Come down Ooh. into a child's pose and stretch back. I was hoping you'd go into this. <laughs> So anytime we do the butt lifts, you never want to pulse. We want to slowly move, hold the squeeze. That gives the brain a chance to understand what's going on. And that's going to activate the muscle, not just here in the gym, but when you walk out and whatever activity you have, those muscles are always engaged. All right, let's go to the other side. So we're going to go to our little sit, and now it stops at legs, the right leg. So we're going to do a big lunge up. We'll do five of these, big step. And now you're opening the opposite side hip. Make sure you squeeze your butt as you're going forward. Bring it down, come back, hit the sit, step. Good, three more. Hit that small little sit. Catch first, then reach. Three. Down slow. Never, this knee's never going over the foot. Last one. This is great for the spine, the scapula, the shoulders, reaching through the stomach. Big reach up, hold. Good. Now let's go after the opposite side butt. We open up this hip. Let's do a little push. So down to the right forearm. Take this leg straight up. And I do something called the shift. So I'm never neutral. I'll kind of shift back this way. Turns on the opposite side glute. Here we go. Three, two, one. Straight to the ceiling. Little press. Let it down super slow. Eight. Down slow. Straight to the ceiling. All right, four more. Make sure you hold that angle of the knee. The foot goes straight to the ceiling. Stop, let it drop slow. Three more. Little hold. Three. Good, we're not swinging our leg. We're moving nice and slow. One more. Hold. Bring it down. All right, legs wide. Let's go to a little stretch right here. Perfect. All right, let's face this way. So we're gonna do two more hip stretches and then we're gonna add leg lifts, butt lifts to it. So we're starting here and we're gonna go right leg, 90 degree lunge. So same thing, hit that little sit, push up, take a big step and go slow into this. This is a big stretch. Go directly 90 degrees, hit that little stretch, bring it back, let's do four more. Here we go, a little sit, open up, move slow, stretching the inner thigh, whooping the hip, Feels good. This feels good. Yeah, this is great really if you get good. off a plane or you've been sitting all day. Yeah. Three more. So we're always stretching the hips. It's the crossroads of the body. It's very important to keep these nice and loose. We got one more. Sit back. Remember your butt's taking you out, taking you in, taking you down. All right, so let's hold this position. I'm gonna turn the leg flat like this, 90 degrees. And this one's tough. This really tones the inner outer thigh, works the opposite side butt. One thing, never bend the elbows. Keep the elbows nice and tight. I'll show you a demo. A little lift, it's about as high as you're gonna go, and then drop it down. Three, two, and one. Little lift, one. It's hard. Yeah. Little lift, two. Make sure you're breathing. You feel a lot of abs. Yeah, I feel it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Good. Here we go. We got three left. Keep those elbows locked. Makes a huge difference. Two more. Two. Last one. Ooh. Yes. Good. Come down. Stretch. Oh. You guys feeling that, right? Oh, yeah. Feel yep. Right up the inner thigh, right out the butt. I mean, it's full body. We're keeping the arms nice and tight, working under the triceps here. It's good. All right, other side. Here we go. We're doing five reps. Three, two, one. Hit the drop, take it up. Nice big step out. Open that inner thigh, open that hip, bring it back. Push out, and your butt is taking you out. It's pulling you in, it brings you down. Press up, this is number three. Come back, and take your time with these. These are big stretches for the hips. 
Go into it nice and slow. We got one more. Big step. Feel that hip open. Good, hold it here. Turn the leg flat. You're going down your arms. Little leg lift. Three, two, and one. Eight. Keep that elbow tight. Good, and by keeping the elbows locked, you're forcing the motion right in the inner thigh. Five. Four, good. Press, three. Two. Last one. Wow. All right, good job. Come back, so stretch. good. Good. One thing this workout really does is it works a lot of inner thigh. You know, there's no part of the leg or the stomach or anything that goes untouched. Yeah, we're nice. working all the way around, changing the angles. And uh, I got one more for you. So we're gonna do a bigger hip stretch. Okay. It's gonna look, look just like the last one. So we're gonna start with the leg out and you're gonna go from 90 degrees. You're gonna open it up to 45 and go really slow with this because this is a huge stretch. And basically you're gonna lunge. You're gonna sit back a little bit slow. You throw it right through your groin, come up. Hold it here, take your time. Three, two, one. Step it out. And same thing, you should be feeling your butt taking you in, taking you out. One more, nice big stretch. Good. Chest up, always want that perfect posture. Right there. Good. We got two more. Yeah, inner thigh for sure oh, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the more we can open up the hips, the more you can get into the inner thigh. Last one, hold it here. We're gonna do a leg lift. So you're just gonna turn the leg down, go down to the opposite side forearm, reach back, and you're gonna do a nice long lift. So try to lift from the butt, not the thigh. Come down nice and slow. Three, two, and one for eight. Let it down slow. These exercises actually work better on the way down than they do on the way up. So focus on right here, the coming down. Breathe. Four more, take it up. Four. Come down slow. Three. Right there. Two. It's all about control. Come down slow. Good. Let's bring that right knee forward. Take that left leg back right here. Good job. Oh, that's good. Feels nice. Yeah. So we're always stretching one way or another. We're always lengthening the muscles, always stretching. And that's key to getting the long, lean, toned muscles that we want. All right, let's hit the other side and finish this up. So, starting right here, 90 degrees. Three, two, one, open it up. Step, slowly, push in. Butt takes you out. Good, five. Take it out, and then push up. Four, slow, right here. Three, and take it out. Get that inner thigh, we're always stretching the legs. Good. One more. Good, get that stretch, you kind of sit back, feel your butt activate, come up, foot goes straight, come down to the forearm, little leg lift, three, two, and one. Up slow, down even slower, eight. And you actually want to feel this on the opposite side, on the way down, good. Six, take it up, five, Big stretch up, come down slow, four, three, nice and slow, two, come down slow, and rest, good job. Oh. Bring that knee up and stretch back. Oh, this feels so oh good. my goodness, that feels so good to get stretched. Great job, so we'll get a quick stretch in. So let's come around this way. It's awesome. Good job. Woo. You should be feeling Woo. nice and tall after that. Everything's yeah. lengthened. Yeah. Let's go legs out wide. Let's come down to our right. And we've been stretching throughout the entire workout. Right. Uh, yeah. And that's key to just elongating everything. But we'll hit this last little gym class stretch as I always call it. Oh, feels good. Get the hamstrings to open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to the other side. This is just, I mean, this is a workout you should probably do every day. 
you can. Do you do, you do this so, workout? Uh, and, and, a, and a big focus on, on the P-Volve workout is not breaking down the body, uh -huh. not creating any stress. Mm. You know, we don't want to lift our cortisol levels mm -hmm. higher than they already are. And this allows us to work out, it protects our joints, it doesn't spike our, our hunger, and you know, we're nurturing our body. Yeah. It's just such good Spring the leg activation in. and stretching that most people don't get. Yeah, on a it's, regular it's, basis. it's everything. Yeah, it's so we nice. do ballistic stretch, I mean ballistic exercises, but not really firing the right muscles. Exactly. And this is based on functional science, physical therapy. So we want to balance out the body, balance out the muscles, make sure they're all activated. And that's how you create a more natural lean physique. Let's go legs together. And you can push forward, let those hips open a little bit more. One more, take the leg out, come down. And great job. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you. You girls are in amazing we shape. Survived. Thank you. Wow, Thank I'm you, impressed. Steven.